uh, claim against the city for a police officer that denied me my rights to film in City Hall. Well, again, you can film public areas, but you can't film computer screens. You can't film confidential information. And then if you are asked to leave, you have to leave. And the city manager? I don't know who that was. Okay. Well, it, it could have been a custodian in the back. Okay. He didn't well, say who he was. I, I asked him, well, who are you? And even then, if it's an employee mm. of, of the business, even if it's a government entity, if, if they ask you to leave, unless it's some stranger off the street that doesn't have authority, but they're in a, you know, mm. closed area of the business, so one would assume that they have the authority, then they uh. don't have to leave. Okay. Well, uh, like I said, I'll leave, right? But only because you gave, only because you're a police officer and you told me under authority of law that I have to leave. Okay. Okay, because I'm not going to pick up any charges of interfering with a police officer, resisting arrest, or anything like that, you know? You know, and, and, and you got to understand, you know, when, when you come in filming, people are going to wonder why. Know, well, what's, what, what's going on? Who are you? And is there an mm -hmm. issue that that needs to be resolved? Well, the only issue is that I have a right to film, and that they didn't like me filming. Okay. Well, I mean, again, it's public areas. That's uh -huh. One thing, but if you're trying to capture what's on computer screens, you can't. Anything that I can see, I can film. Anything that I can see with my eyes in a public area, I can film. That's state and federal law. Mm -hmm. So if they got a computer screen that's aimed at my direction when I'm filming, then I can film it. But there's then, no, but, but there's, then, you know, you're at, yeah, you're there's, there's no it. expectation of privacy in a public place. No, there's not. Okay. And since there's no public, so under under those things, I had a right to film in there. Okay, it, it's their job to come up with their own privacy. They can come up with a privacy curtain. They can put a thing on there so that when it film, you film it, uh, it's a black screen. Mm -hmm. uh, me and you both know they have that technology. Absolutely. So. But yeah, I mean, I just went in the film and see what's going on. Um, but yeah, it's like, <laughs> you know, if the, if the screen's available where the public can see it, then I can film it. Well, and then th and that's something that they will need to address if those screens are visible for that. Well, that's what she said. Well, she was mad because I filmed the screen. So if it's if it, if I can if I can stand behind the counter and I can film the screen, and they want privacy on that screen, then they got an issue, mm -hmm. and that needs to be addressed. Absolutely does. Right, and if I walk in there and I'm filming, it gets addressed. But but you can understand why why people get concerned if somebody comes in filming. You know, generally people wonder why. Right. Again, is, is there an issue that, that you know, is, do you ha have, have some issue that, that you are trying to address or bring to light? And if so, you know, what is it so that it can be addressed? It's called the First Amendment audit. Okay. Okay. I'm allowed to go into any government building. I'm allowed to go into any police department. And I'm allowed to film in public areas. Mm-hmm. Okay, that cannot be denied me. Okay, I'm being denied my right to film in there because you told me officially I had to leave. But you were filming and, and you had time in there. Yeah, but time doesn't mean anything. If you think I have a warrant and you're sitting out in front of my house, right, I can't come up to you, someone can't come up to you and say, well, isn't it time for you to leave? So, how long were you planning on staying? Just 20, 25 minutes. I just wanted to see what, what would happen if I filmed in there. Okay. And I got to see, I got three officers right here with guns. 
And I just have a lousy old little camera. Well, we don't take the guns off before we go places, so, yeah. you know. But to uh, have three officers show up when someone's doing a First Amendment audit? Well, you know, <laughs> when, when I have a city official that comes and says there is somebody in City Hall that is refusing to leave, I don't know... I don't know that you're there doing a First Amendment on it. I don't know if, you know, I don't know you. I don't know if you have weapons. I don't know anything else. So generally, there will come with more than one of us. Mm. Well, I got a feeling probably every one of you know who I am. I don't think I've ever met you before. Huh? You don't? I <laughs> don't. That's strange because I went down and did a first amendment at um, uh, in Eastern Oregon at one of the police departments, and the officer came out and said exactly what my name was, and asked if he could help. I'm on every safety bolt, and there is public safety bolts, and with the police, I'm a cop watcher. All right. Okay. Did we uh, did we get a name or? No. We don't get one. You don't get one. <laughs> Website, like a Facebook or something? Huh? Is, it, is, there, is there a website or something that... Uh... I'll be on YouTube. YouTube? Got you. Yep. Okay. Is there a... Is there a website that you want to accomplish today? I just wanted to go in and see if they would recognize my right to film. Okay. Apparently they don't recognize people's right to film. Because if they did, they, you guys wouldn't be here. Okay. Well, uh, are you? Would you like to talk to like a supervisor on that case, or is it? Uh, do you think that, is there like a better better route that you thought of to kind of publicize what what it is you're after? I'm after to see if they recognize my rights to film or not. Okay. That's what I was after. Apparently they don't recognize my right to film in there. And it's a government building. So you're protected under the First Amendment to videotape government buildings. And just because someone that may have been in the bathroom came up and said, you don't have a right to film in here. I was at a post office and someone told me that I don't have a right to film in there either. That was a customer standing in line. I asked him what his job t I asked him if he worked there what his job title was and he goes well who are you and then I asked him who he was gotcha yeah is there uh, is, are there other routes that you take as well uh, just with this task or is it what other routes is there I don't know have you just thought of just different ways you know, or, or is it uh, just literally going from location to location to see what type of scene it's brought up from from just the, the act of filming. Is that basically what the goal is? Is to I go into government buildings and police departments to see if I have a right to film. Okay. See if they're going to recognize my right to film. Yeah. Okay. So it's like an educational thing. Pretty much. For followers. Okay. Gotcha. Okay. Well, what? What? Uh, what have we learned from this instance? That they don't recognize. Uh, they don't recognize my con people's constitutional rights, okay. and the police department here doesn't recognize people's constitutional rights. Okay. So, and, and like she said, with the response to, mm -hmm. so, um, with two other officers here, we respond because there's an officer uh, going out with the term is unwanted, um, and then we have to we just follow up to cover each other because we don't really know what's going on. So obviously mm -hmm. we're not. 